Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to go over the CP50 test accessory. This is a piece of test equipment that you can use to verify the operations of a newly installed EVSE or charging station. Uh, it also has some additional functionality for some more advanced troubleshooting. So it's a great tool for any uh, installer or technician to carry around in their tool bag. It's handheld, really compact, and it's a great value. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the basic uh, verification of a newly installed EVSC or verification on EVSC where you've got a, a vehicle you're plugging in it should be charging and it's not charging um, so what we do with this here is we're going to go ahead and plug it into the CP50 tester and then we're going to activate a charge request so the CP50 in this scenario uh, simulates a vehicle being connected to the station and requesting a charge um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here Got it in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch from uh, charge not requested to charge requested. And when, when I do that, what should happen is we should hear a click, and we should see the green charging light on the EVSE come on. Uh, there's also a red light on the side that will turn on to indicate that uh, power is available, being made available to the CP50 from the EVSE. So go ahead and do that. And we've got a click, we've got the green charging light on, and we have the red light on here. So uh, in, in this case, the EVSC has passed the test. It's uh, properly responding to a vehicle's request for charge. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that off, and then we can uh, next go into some more advanced troubleshooting uh, with, with this uh, voltmeter. And actually, before I do that, uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to simulate a CCID fault. This is a, a ground fault. So this fault is going to simulate current leaking to ground. One of the EVSE's main functionalities is to provide electrical safety for the user, and it uses the CCID safety circuit to do that. So uh, when, we, when we trip this, if the EVSE is functioning properly, it should actually stop charging, so the green light will turn off, you'll hear the click again, which is the contactor opening up and it's removing power from the circuit, and then also a fault light will come on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we've got our fault light, the click and the green charging light turned off and you'll also notice that the red light on the CP50 turned off so there's no power available on the tester. Now we're going to do some more advanced troubleshooting. Uh, so we've tested to make sure that the station responds properly to a vehicle's request for charge. Uh, if you're still having trouble charging your vehicle or you just want to check out more information about the station, we can use a digital voltmeter to verify that when a charge is requested, we have the proper voltage available. And we can also test to make sure that the proximity latch um, circuit is functioning properly. There's a, a circuit in the connector head uh, that the vehicle is going to be monitoring to make sure that it's connected and able to request a charge. Um, so what we've done is, I, uh, after we did the uh, CCID trip, I went ahead and reset the station to clear that fault. You can reset the station by cycling power, just turning it off and then back on. Or you can let the fault clear automatically, which it'll do after about a minute, so long as the fault condition has been removed. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our meter. All right. So what we're going to measure here is we're going to measure each line to ground, and there's, there's ports on the CP50 that you can plug your meter into, and then we're going to measure line to line for this test. So this is the voltage test. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my meter to volts AC, and then I'll go ahead and plug into ground, and I'll go ahead and plug into line one. And what we should see is we should see about 110 to 120 volts. Uh, in this case, we've got 113, that's one, line 1 to ground, and then we'll go ahead and measure line 2 to ground. should see uh, approximately the same measurement, which we do. We've got 113 again. Typically, line 1 to ground and line 2 to ground are going to be right around the same. Um, so then we'll go ahead and measure each line to line, and we should see somewhere between 208 to 240 volt, depending on the transformer configuration at the site. And here we've got 226, exactly what we would expect to see. So now we're going to go ahead and test the uh, proximity circuit's functionality. So the vehicle monitors this circuit to make sure that the connector is fully inserted, uh, which it needs to happen before the vehicle will request a charge. So, uh, so as you can see, as you insert the connector, the latch is going to lift up, and then once it's fully inserted, it's going to uh, seat down, and now you can't unplug it. So, Okay, good deal. Um, so we've got that. We'll go ahead and turn our meter on to uh, ohms to measure the resistance, which is what, uh, what we're going to measure on this circuit. So I'll plug in between ground and the proximity. 
test. And so what we should see here is about 140 uh, ohms of resistance. And then as I press the button here, you're going to see that resistance increase to around 400 ohms. And 406. And we'll go ahead and push it down again, 142. And this is within the spec. Uh, in the CP50 user manual, it's going to call out the specific range that you're looking to see for the uh, resistance on the proximity circuit in each position. Uh, so this is functioning properly. Uh, next, we can go ahead and do an additional test with an oscilloscope to verify that the station's pilot communication signal is being generated properly and that we see the proper response when a vehicle requests a charge. All right, so we verified that the EVSC responds properly to a vehicle's request for charge. We verified that we have the appropriate voltage available to the vehicle and that our proximity latch is uh, working properly and within, within spec. Um, so if you're still having issues charging a vehicle, we can go ahead and uh, use an oscilloscope to verify that the pilot signal being generated by the station is being generated correctly. This is a much more advanced troubleshooting that might be done by um, a mechanic in an automotive shop or um, more at an engineering level because not a lot of people have oscilloscopes, but it is a capability of the product, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, go over it here. So I've um, plugged into the CP50, I've got a charge being requested, we're going to go ahead and um, actually turn that off for this test. Uh, so now we're just connected to the vehicle, but charge is not requested. I'm going to go ahead and plug up the uh, scope here. We've got the scope ports. There's a uh, scope ground and then scope pilot because we're monitoring the pilot signal. And this one there. All right. Um, so now you can see here uh, we've got our pilot signal. It's a square wave signal. Uh, you've got a uh, positive portion of the signal, which right now, since we're connected, but charge is not requested, it should be around 9 volts. And you can see up here it is, it's at 9.4 to 9.6. And then you have the negative portion of the signal, which uh, should actually stay at about negative 12 volts at all times. And you can see here it's at negative 12. So when we're, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and request a charge. We should see the positive portion of the pilot signal pull down to about 6 volts while the negative portion of the signal remains at 12 volts. And this negative portion of the signal remaining at 12 volts is something that a vehicle is monitoring for. Um, so you should see sort of both of those, uh, both of those things happen. Uh, so we've got charge requested, we're charging, we've got the positive portion now down at 6 volts, and the negative portion of the signal is uh, remaining at that 12 volt range. So. Um, you know, based on these tests, everything in the EVSC or the charging station is checking out. Uh, we've, the, the signal looks good on the scope here, and as I go ahead and remove the request for a charge, you'll see it return up to 9 volts. So if you're still having problems charging a vehicle, it's uh, time to start looking at things on the vehicle. The station is, uh, is working as it should. Uh, if you have any additional questions or want to learn more about the CP50, uh, check out our website, give us a call, happy to answer any questions or uh, get you a quote so you can buy some. Thanks.